All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work of the hopeful elect and truth and sincerity. Okay. Um, I want to go in this lesson on are we manipulators? Okay. And um, I wanted to do this video earlier, but for some reason, uh, the spirit, you know, was telling me to just, you know, take my time to do it. And then um, Apostle Gabar had did this uh, lesson, a message to the GMI alumni, uh, learn to follow order. Okay. And um, it, it, I think now is the, the perfect time to do this lesson. Okay. Uh, which the title of this video is, um, Are We Manipulators? Okay. And um, I'm going to answer that according to the scriptures because, um, yes, according to the definition, we are a ma manipulators, okay? Um, according to uh, the scriptures, you're supposed to be manipulated, okay? Um, so in, in that, it goes into to learn to follow order, okay? So um, I'm going to go into the definition of, of manipulation okay which it the 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 etymology of the definition is a method of digging ore okay now you go into the word ore okay uh a naturally occurring solid metal from which i'm um, a material from which a metal or valuable mineral can be profitably profitably extracted okay which in this case the ore is the um the elect okay which the elect is going to uh, be that gold and silver okay so it says a method of digging ore okay uh which that's one one thing i'm going to go into but um then it says a handful a pharmacist measure a handful sheaf bundle hand um to ha to fill okay to fill a hand okay skillful handling of objects of handling of, of persons okay and then you have uh to ha handle skillfully by hand of mental influence okay and that's what a lot of people you know they look at uh look at the men of the lord and they say oh we're we're manipulators okay um which the, the 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 definition is said uh mental influence and when you look into the word influence okay the definition it says to the capacity to have an effect on the character development or behavior of someone or something or the effect itself and when you go into the synonyms Okay, the words that are like uh, influence, it says effect, impact, control, to sway, hold, power, authority, mastery, domination, supremacy, guidance, direction, pressure. Okay, and these are all good uh, definitions or synonyms. For the word influence, okay, which the the word influence once again is the capacity to have an effect on the the character that someone has, the development that someone has, okay, or behavior of someone, okay, which the the apostles and the elders and you know the men of the Lord were trying to um we 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 have to follow that order. Okay, which you know, in 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 that that order is the the influence on, on another brother, okay, or or someone that is over over you having that influence on you, okay, to 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 help develop you, your your character or your behavior, um, is fitting in um the Lord, okay, so your behavior in this truth. It's supposed to be someone who uh, follows order, okay? 
or is learning to follow order. Because when you come into this, when you come into this thing, man, you can't just do whatever the heck you want to do. Okay, bring out whatever scriptures that you want to bring out, and that's what the apostle was 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 going into. Okay, do whatever you want to. Okay, so with that said. And this is a good scripture, too, because he was going into uh, a lot of guys. They like to say um, double honors, you know, and they don't they don't uh, mean it. OK, it's first Timothy five and 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and in doctrine. OK, now going into the, the scriptures that I have. OK, it's Hebrews 13 and 17. It says, obey them. That have rule the rule over you, okay? Is a is a man of the Lord, okay? Nine times out of ten, okay. Especially if you if you're in Great Millstone and you're not an apostle or an elder, okay, or a camp leader, okay. You're supposed to be listening to those guys, okay. That are your camp leaders or your elders or your apostles, okay. The guys that are are over you, okay, and rank, okay. You could be somebody that just coming into the camp, and you you have to listen to them, man, to to the guys that that are over you. It says and submit yourself, okay. Which these are are words that that when it comes down to learning to follow order, okay, to submit yourself to resist no longer. You you're not supposed to resist yourself, okay. Uh, but to give way. Yield of comp combatants to yield to authority and admonition to submit. Okay. Um, it said it also says to yield, be weak, to surrender, submit self. Okay. So you have to be able to submit yourself, man. Even if you feel as though that you're right, you know, you need to just be able to just shut up and just take it, man. Okay. That's a part of that mental influence, man, because a person that's over you is going to mentally influence you. It says, why? It says, for they watch for your souls. Okay? The apostles and the elders and your camp leaders and, 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 and brothers, we're watching, watching for your souls, man. Okay? The apostle is watching for, for, for our souls, man. Okay? It says, as they... That must give account because hey, they're res they're responsible for 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 the things that they bring out, man. Okay, the things that 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 we all do. Okay, they're responsible. It says that they may do it with joy and not with grief. Okay, you sitting up here trying to tell tell uh brothers um what 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 to do and how to do it. You know, the breakdowns of scriptures and guys just want to do whatever they want to. And you going under the, 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 you calling yourself a man of GMS. And you don't want to come in under the order. You know, like, it's like, what the hell, man? What, what's your point, man? You might as well just go, go somewhere else, man. Okay? And Great Millstone, you got to follow the order. You know? If the, if the Lord set up a, a, a order, then that's what the Lord did, man. But guys are just looking at the fact that it's a carnal thing or they want um, different uh, things, you know what I'm saying, from out this world or, or in this truth or whatever, you know, and, and, and they can't they can't come in up under, under the order, you know, even when it comes down to to like dealing with women, you know, women don't want to uh, be manipulated, you know, they don't want that mental influence of being in subjection to that man, but they want all the the um the good that that the scriptures talk about you know without without suffering the the um the subjection okay and being in submission okay you know and many different men have different ways of um of having influence on you okay um some some use reverse psychology okay some some um guys are just straightforward you know some guy, it's it's all to, to to get into your mind, okay? To to make you want to do this this truth, man. It says because it says for that is unprofitable for you if you want to just do your own way, okay? This is Second Corinthians ten and five, casting down imaginations, okay? Uh, these people, you know, they imagine a vain thing, okay? And there's many scriptures I believe 
on that, okay? Yeah, oh, it's two two scriptures, you know, it says Psalm two and one, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Okay. Um it says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh because brothers are trying to teach you the right way. They're trying to you know, this this walk is a narrow path, man. Okay? The scripture says, few be there that find it, man, and go in, okay? But then you also have people that are on this broad, broad, broad way, okay, to destruction, and they think that they could just come into this truth and just do whatever the, ever the hell they want to, and that's the ways of this world, that's the ways of this society. When you come into this truth, man, you gotta, you gotta liken yourself onto a babe, you have to do as the scriptures say. Okay, it says, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so we have to cast down the imaginations that, that people may uh, imagine, you know, oh, the Lord, the Lord uh, is dealing with me. I can bring out this new revelation or um, the cares of this world. I can uh, do whatever the hell I want to in this world and stuff like that. You know, when what do the scriptures say, man? Okay? The scriptures say that the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. So we we telling brothers to to uh to focus on the spiritual goal that is at hand, man. Okay? The the the, the treasures is not here in this kingdom, man. Okay? Your treasures is supposed to be stored up in the in in, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Which is going to be established here on this earth. Okay? So the mindset that brother is supposed to be having, okay, is towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, okay? And the Lord deals with order, okay? And, and as far as Great Millstone, we deal with order also, man, okay? Um, so, so you have to be brought into captivity, okay? And what do that mean, man? You're going to have masters, man, okay? You have to present yourself as a slave. Okay, people don't understand that, you know, they look at that, that those scriptures and they, you know, they, they automatically assume that, you know, it's talking about the, 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 uh, the slavery that happened here in America. This is talking about the spiritual, uh, influence that brothers may have on you, man. Okay. Um, the word ca captivity. Okay. Strong's G163. Okay, it says to lead away captive, to capture one's mind. Okay, and that's what we're trying to, what, what, what the apostles are trying to do. Okay, which honestly, you know, if you if you meant to get it, you meant to get it, man. Okay, but the the thing is, you know, brothers are supposed to come into this this thing. Okay, and and I seen a a, a, a scoffer. You know, put up a video talking about, you know, when Apostle was saying uh, this thing of ours, okay? You have to be, man, this this thing of ours is important, man, okay? This thing of ours is not some, 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 uh, some, and, and they was making it seem like, like, like when he was saying this thing of ours is like, as if he was talking about uh, him, him, himself, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is all of ours, man, okay? This is order, this is Yasser Allah, this is Israel, man. This is one of the reasons why our people went into to slavery, okay, in the first place, because they didn't want to come into captivity under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, okay? So we have to be, we have to bring everybody's mind into the obedience of Yahweh Shah, man, okay? And it says, and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience. So if you disobedient, man, okay, you ain't, you ain't going to make it, man. Okay, and you know we 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 prove you. You know what I'm saying? If you a sincere brother, okay, it says when your obedience is fulfilled. But when you try to reprove a lot of these guys, they just sold themselves to be niggas, man. Instead of you know sitting down and 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 uh and taking that order, man. Okay, uh, because they may they may look at it like, 
oh, this guy is smaller than me, you know, or this guy is uh, um, younger than me, or this guy is uh, uh, an old fool and stuff like that, man, you know? When when you got you to gotta be looking at this thing spiritually, man, okay? A brother who came into this, tr this truth, you know, it's, it's like seniority, man, okay? In the, in the college uh, football, you know, they they have uh, seniority, man. Okay, and, and, and unless you are a a, a a a top freshman or whatever, you're not going to take over that guy uh, position, man. Okay, that guy been on the team longer, man. That guy know what it, what, it, what 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 the ins and outs, man. Okay, and you have to come in and you have to to, to show that respect to that to that guy, man. Okay, this is this is a, a team. Okay, so going into the etymology of the word influence. Okay, it says an astrological astrological term streaming ethereal power from the stars, and when in certain positions acting upon character or destiny of men, emanation from the stars that acts upon one's character or in destiny. Okay, it says a flow of water. A flowing in, a flow in, okay, it says uh, to flow into, to stream in, pour in, okay, into, in, on, upon, okay, so the word in, in influence, it means in, influent is flow, okay, and, and I'm going to get this scripture John 7 and 38, he that believes on me, as the scriptures have said, okay, it's not, not based off of what the next man done said or um, uh, what your own imagination is, it's what the scriptures say, okay, it says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, okay, and that, that's because you got influenced by these, the, the spirit, okay, of the scriptures, okay. And it's always going to be something for you to talk about and go in on, man. Okay, so these spirit, the, 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 the scriptures are supposed to have that influence on you, man. Okay? And and brothers are trying to, okay, we're trying to um, influence you, okay, so that the, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's the scriptures say, okay, it, it can just flow, flow in you, man. Okay? Um, I don't want to make this lesson, uh, too, too long, okay? Um, I'm gonna just get this, uh, last scripture. It's says Psalm 32 and 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which thou shalt go, and I will guide you with mine eye. And that's what the apostles are doing, okay? It says, be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held and with bit and brittle, lest they come near unto you, okay, so we supposed to have that understanding, that spiritual understanding, that if you want to make it, okay, you're going to have to learn, you're going to have to be taught the right way, okay, and, 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 and the brothers that are over you, okay, they're, they're manipulating you, but, but people are looking at it like we're, we're manipulating you, or the apostles are manipulating brothers, okay, or, or your, your husband is manipulating you to go do some wicked shit, man, Okay, we're manipulating you, okay, so that, you know, as the scriptures say, that we may be able to do it with uh, joy and not with grief, you know, that that, that the kingdom of heaven is, is being extolled upon you, man, okay, that you may live forever, man, and not die, okay, and pine away in your uh, iniquity, man, okay, so with that, man, hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying, Okay, and uh, I just want to say, uh, Salawam, hopefully this lesson was um, was edifying, okay? Um, like I said, man, the, the, the manipulation is the digging of ore, okay? And we're, we're that goal that, you know, we're trying to, you know, uh, the Lord is, is, is getting, man. The elect is the goal, and you have to have that, that mentality 
of a, a, a man of the Lord, okay, when you come into this thing. And a man of the Lord is not going to do whatever the heck he wants to do, okay? He's going to do the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? And that's pretty much the point of this lesson. So um, are we manipulators, okay? Are we being manipulated? The answer is yes, okay? On to uh, everlasting uh, life, on to righteousness, man, on to peace. Okay, so with that, once again, I want to say so long.